Welcome back, folks. It's some more Edna and Harvey. All right, so what are we gonna do? We look a little cramped up in here with our little blue buckwheat bunny. And god damn, that's a huge skeleton. What the hell is that? Is that a Yeti? The spoon? I don't know. He's only got three toes on one foot and two on the other. And no mouth. It's a strange, strange creature. Dr. Marcel and Hulger are gone. Still gone. Dr. Marcel and Hulger are gone. All right, let's use our trusty toenail. Looks like a batter ring. Dr. Marcel and Hulger are gone. Well, here we go again. Bunk. I'm starting to get the hang of this. Right, so now we're here in the office. And we swipe the pin. A framed newspaper clip over the mantelpiece. That seems to be important. Now, what is this? That's my father right there in the picture. This article states my father is a murderer. That is a horrendous lie. That is a bunch of bullshit. 41-year-old Matthias Conrad turned himself in at the authorities in the wee hours of today. Even though he would really, readily confessed having murdered an eight-year-old boy whose name has not been released for the matters of privacy, he will probably face capital punishment. The alleged killer did not name a motive for the slain. If the prosecution follows through with death penalty and is swiftly applied, the single father leaves behind his sole daughter, Edna, who has been put under the custody of Dr. Hari Shio Marcel, the head of the local asylum for the mentally ill. Take it. Take it. Take it. Don't take it. Don't take it. Then leave. Leave it. It shows a boy who's smiling. I don't know him, but he's starting to annoy me. Boys that smile are annoying. A boy studying. And is that supposed to be me? That's strange. There's only one half of me. An old photograph of a boy playing. I think I know him from somewhere. That's definitely Dr. Marcel's distinct signature. A polo mallet. Let's get out of here. Oh, big guy. Well, if it isn't Miss Edna, how did you manage to get out of your cell? <laughs> I possess secret powers. One step closer and I'll turn you into a bulldog. Oh, yeah? Luga! It worked! I didn't know I had it in me. Quit this nonsense and get over here already. I'll put you back in your cell. Ha! Never! Don't you want to know how I can escape? Sure! Fire away! My ragdoll rabbit temple morphed me to the past. That's where I learned to use my super toenails as a multi-tool. <laughs> You've always been... Very resourceful. It's a shame not much of that will be left. Once Dr. Marcel's therapy begins to work, come on now, I'll put you back in your cell. Ha! 
Never! Ha! Never! You can't hide behind the desk forever! We'll see about that. I'm not gonna bash your damn brains in. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, no blood? Come on. I was weak. better hide his body. Yes, I should get rid of him, but where to put him? Ah, I know, the cabinet. We're in some kind of utility closet to know. Well, Brain, let's talk to it. Uh, hello? Hello, Edna. What brings you here? Who or what are you? I am a brain in a jar. But you can call me Bobo, if you like. Bobo the like brain. Bobo the bear? No. More like Bobo Bombastic Bodacious Bodelicious Gonna smack you to the ground. Oh. Hmm. You're able to talk? Of course not, stupid. Do you see a mouth anywhere? I communicate telepathically. Clearly you do. What are you calling stupid, Lumpy? Do you know a way out of here? Why do people always think that brains in jars always have the answers? For everything. No, I don't know a way out of here. I don't travel much, you know. You gotta travel out that window, you smart-ass brain. Do you know anything about Dr. Marcel? Beware the evil doctor. He's evil. Evil. I hate it when I get so agitated. Ciao, Bobo. I can't reach them. I always despised chemistry lessons anyway. <laughs> Except for the explosions, of course. I may have lost my memory, Alf. but I can still vividly remember how much I used to dislike Alf. Alf eats pussy. Cats. Mmm, tastes like pineapple. Somehow I doubt that. It's broken. Can't do that. There are some missing. Can't do that. Some of the pins are missing. Oh, come on, go bowling. Jump! We've escaped, just jump! It looks like an ice skater. With a broken leg. You got issues, girl. Big time issues. At the same time, not far away. Hey, that's my job. Stay tuned for another mind blowing story about people with big. What the? Not again. Why don't we get table here? Ah, uh, so what? I'll just go back to watching the Looney Show. Wow. Looks like I still have a long way to go. Fuck it, you can make it. There's a forest behind the wall. Then there's a river with a bridge over it. I can make out a graveyard and a church. And then houses. 
Isn't that one our house? I have to get there as soon as possible. Whatever it is Dr. Marcel is trying to hide, I'm sure I can find hints there that will help me remember. This is the ventilation shaft I crawled through. Open it, you bonehead. I can't open it without my special tool. I'm gonna bite off another toenail. Yes, folks, it's time once again for Edna Conrad and her dancing toenails. It loses some of its appeal trying to get in instead of out. Looks like we're at the other end of the chute here. And back in Dr. Marcel's office. That little turd. Hey! Uh oh, I better skedaddle. Wait, you little brat! What's going on here? What's the big idea walking around on your own? And how did you manage to get out of there? Let's go! Back to your cell! Don't you want to hear my answer? Foolishness! You'll have to get up earlier for that! Yep. Okay, Houdini. I might not know how you managed to escape, but one thing's for sure, it won't happen again. Hmm, must not have seen this big gaping hole here. Skedaddle. Wait, you little brat! Blow me. What's the meaning of this? Come back here at once! You'll break every bone in your body! Why don't you come and get me? Well... Oh, isn't that cute? Our mini golf professional has a fear of heights. Coward, coward. Yeah, you just laugh. But eventually, you'll have to come down from there. And that's when I'll show you. We'll see about that, you little turd midget. Midget turd. I like that better. Midget turd, yes. What an insult. <laughs> Shit. Not so fast, sweetheart. Gotcha. What's the big idea walking around on your own? And how did you manage to get out of there? Let's go. Back to your cell. Don't you want to hear my answer? Foolishness! You'll have to get up earlier for that! Yep! Put me back okay, in my cell and shut up. You little douche. Help! 
Murder! Shh! I didn't mean to do that. Liar! Hey! Uh oh! I got an Wait, idea. Wait, you little. The meaning of come back. Why don't well? Oh, listen, cow. Yeah, but if it and I'm gonna trap his ass in that utility closet. I'll show that midget turd. Now the handle can't be pushed down anymore. What the? Hey! <laughs> What's going on? I'm still in here! And we don't give a shit. Hello! Holgor! Dr. Marcel! Somebody! That'll keep him tied up a little bit. The same on this side. Locked. There's a guard sitting in this room. He's staring at a wall of surveillance monitors. Uh-oh. Someone's sitting there. Is that you, newbie? To be honest, I'm a loony on the run. Loony on the run. Right. But listen, newbie, if you've only come here to pull my leg, you might as well just take a hike. Fine. I'm not rummaging through trash cans. Look at the oh, size yeah? of that water Since tank. When? Holy okay, shit. Okay, I lied. Sue me. I just wanted to know how it felt to say that. There's a year's supply of soap paper cups in there. I'm giving them water tanks for my office. That thing is huge. WC. And some soap. Let's take the soap. Leave the rope. Somehow thought I was blonde. That's not fair. It rolls right back into the wall. Yeah, let's just leave that on. There's a picture of Dr. Marcel pinned in the middle of it. <laughs> Crazy bitch. Look, Harvey! Chewing gum! Chocolate chunks. Ingredients industrial foam and sugar. It says there's a surprise in the box. Chocolate flakes. Ingredients, industrial, it says that... Open, get to the surprise, dumb. Hey, there was a surprise in there. 
It's a brand spanking new authentic police badge with small parts that could be swallowed. Cool. I bet only the toughest cops get the small parts that could be swallowed. A key is missing. Use your toenails. Yeah, dang it. If only I had longer toenails. But I'm such a silly dilly. I always gnaw them down. It's locked. That works differently than a regular hat. I don't know how, but I don't want to find out. I'd need help from someone who knows his way around these things. This place is pretty big. Who's this douche? Looks like a penis with spectacles. Hello? Hello? Hmm. No reaction. Yep. It's because penises can't hear. A key is missing. More stairs to go down. Sweet. We need to get this skinny hooker some clothes. Hey, it's prohibited to pass through here. I've got a special permit. Always the same witty remarks, Miss Edna. Maybe the doctor should be less thorough when erasing your memory. You always come up with the same old tricks. What else you got for me? You're just visiting? You're the newbie? Or no, wait. You're not really even there, right? Um... I'm really fed up with you. Uh -oh. Um! Patient on the run! What's going on? Yo, what dude. do you think? There's a patient on the run! Where are all the others? Aren't Babbitt and Holger around? Isn't that something you should know? I've been sitting here all day. I don't know what else is going on. But obviously, the whole building is in chaos since the doctor went out. It's just, uh, I've never dealt with an attempted escape before. <sighs> all right, all right, I'll just put her in here with the others. That must be what I'm supposed to do. There, you stay here till the doctor is back. Something seems to have gone patently wrong here. Druggle Jug. Hello. Druggle Jug. Is that your name? Druggle Jug. Am I not allowed in there? Druggle Jug. But I need to be granted an audience with the king. Druggle Jug. Too bad. <sighs> what a guy. If only I could impress him somehow. Druggle Jug. That's Lug Lug's brother, Druggle Jug. Hello. Hello, young lady. Wait. Stay there. There's no doubt. You're different from the others. Your aura is highly energetic. Who are you? Where do you come from? I'm Brachna. I've come from the third Zenobri of the Yugal. I happen to know that Brachna is in bed with a fever. Why do you lie to me? Who are you really? G'day! I'm your cousin Betty from Australia. I don't have a cousin Betty from Australia. 
I only have a cousin Rugnelda from Vladivakistan. But if she were to visit me, I'd have known ahead of time. Because you're connected to her by a cosmic bond? Yes, for one. Plus, you can hear birds plummeting to the ground before she arrives. They don't put much emphasis on hygiene in Vladivakistan, you know. Wow. So, why do you lie to me? Who are you really? I'm Edna. I've come from the dungeons of a tower. You have been incarcerated for a long time indeed. Your kismet is like a thirsty sponge that aches to suck itself full of freedom. But you haven't reached your goal yet. Keep at it, Edna. The days of your enslavement are numbered. Wow, impressive speech, Gramps. What brings you here, my child? in the Cushion Castle. That would be King Adrian. Quite an interesting case. He got struck by lightning and developed certain abilities after that. In fact, his case supports some of my theories. Hmm. What exactly are those theories? I have developed a couple of theories regarding Adrian's case. After lightning struck him, he suddenly had psychic abilities. I don't know exactly That's how, how to name mine. my theory. I'm considering psychokinetic conductivity through electric penis. currents, electrostatic psi extension, high this. voltage precognition, or just fortune doesn't always favor fools. Why do you call him King? Well, that was the wager in a game of Yahtzee. We were naive enough to think we could beat him. B-Man had worked out a strategy. The ticket inspector developed a fail-safe system. Professor Nock supplied us with the medication. He had scraped together everything he could get his hands on for one whole year, just for the occasion. Petra even designed a special choreography for us to follow. Alas, it was to no avail. Well, we could have done worse. Imagine if Petra had won. Pilates every morning. Ugh. What abilities are those? He sees things before they happen. Wow! No wonder he's your king. He must be very powerful then. Indeed he is. He always wins at Chinese checkers that way. Yeah, yeah, but in addition to that... And at Scrabble. But the possibilities! And at you Word with Friends. It. The recreation room is full of board games. And Adrian wins them all. He even won the Jigsaw Puzzle Contest. The prize was a medal of real gold. Let's talk about something else. Your coat hanger tells you all that? Why, no. It serves as an aerial to pick up cosmic oscillations. Plus, I'm keeping it handy just in case. An aluminum suit is very prone to wrinkling, you know. Aluminum suit? I have to get a move on. Take care of your karma. You talk too much. Alright folks, that about wraps it up for this video. We'll see you next time with more Edna and Harvey. I think that guy's got a piss.